please? Sure. Joe Marie Nelson? Here. Jill Kravitz? Brian Peruta? John Unger? Joseph Albert? Robbie Staple Sr.? Here. Donna Corbin Tabinski? Here. Joseph Perello? Frank Alimo? Here. Okay, I would like to see Frank Alimo as a um, full voting member tonight. Um, fire evacuation procedure. In the event of a fire, we would go out our doors, turn to the left, go through the stairway doors, and out the double doors. Can we stand for Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nothing tonight for executive session, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Public participation. Is there anybody in the audience that would like to come forward and discuss issues that are not on the agenda? Okay. Public hearings. We have none scheduled. Correspondence, Jim? Um, yes, in your folders you'll find the Land Use Boards and Commission's 2013 meeting schedules, just for your records. Yeah. You'll know our upcoming meetings as well as uh, the other boards and commissions. It's in the supplement one? Yeah. Were we, Joe Moore, were we, were we talking about last meeting some conflicts? Um, I think there was one date in January, but I think we decided to go with um, January meeting. There was one, yeah, we were talking about one last meeting. At, there was a conflict on one date. I just don't remember. January 3rd. We're going to have it on Wednesday, January 3rd. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. January, January 2nd. 2nd. Wednesday, right. January 2nd, right. uh, which would be our right. next right. scheduled meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. And that would be in the, I believe it's in the, is it Council Chambers. Chambers. So we have Council cha Chambers Wednesday, January 2nd at 7 o'clock. Okay. And that was the only one, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Commissioner of Correspondence, is there any issues anybody would like to address? Roby? No. No. Donna? No, thank you. Frank? All set. Thank you. Approval of minutes, December 4th, 2012, regular meeting. Is there a motion? Motion to accept the minutes from December 4th, regular meeting. Motion made by Donna? Second. Second by Frank. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Wetlands agent report. What do you have, Jim? Okay. Uh, first, I'd like to make a correction. Uh, last meeting, I stated there was a possible violation at 318 North Maple Street. Uh, that was the incorrect address. It was 314 Maple Street. North, sorry, North Maple Street. Uh, I did go and revisit that site. Uh, I spoke with the landowner. Uh, he had done some filling, uh, but the only section. Uh, Nothing was within 100 feet other than maybe five feet of uh, fill that was probably three inches thick. And I'd asked him to take that material in that area and remove it uh, back to original grade, which was still there. there was any, any digging going on, just some fill was placed there. He agreed, and um, I'll go back and check that in, in a week or so and see if he completed it. Uh, other than that, there is no violation at 314 North Maple Street. Perfect. Very good. Uh, 30 and 32 Bacon Road. Um, they did come in for an ART as we spoke last meeting. Um, voiced some concerns about, um, they had proposed quite a bit of fill coming into that site. Um, didn't have a real strong stormwater plan as far as how they were going to handle runoff from their facility, from the parking lots. Um, we were planning on doing some. They're planning on doing some test pits there for drainage work and for infiltration. They have an idea of infiltrating the runoff into the ground there. Uh, they were going to do test pits, and then I was called last minute and said that they had some problems internally and they were going to put this project on hold until further notice. So as of now, nothing's going on there. Uh, there are no permit, no uh, applications in any boards or commissions. Um, and so when I hear something from them, I'll report it. That's it. <clears throat> Any questions for Jim? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, bond release. We have nothing this evening. 
13 Old Business, Inland Wetlands, number 551 Carriage House, regrading and slope protection of existing drainage swale, proposed activity within a watercourse and regulated area. Map 52, lot 420, submitted 1016-12, received 1016-12, PPE is 1031-12, and MAD is 12-2012. Are gentlemen here this evening? Yes, we are. Would you like to come to the front of the table? <laughs> Good evening. Uh, we've been before you before, so we're going to keep it real short this evening with regard to uh, just a couple of supplemental questions that came up. And I presume some of you may have visited the site in the meantime, which was one of the questions. I'm here, of course, this evening with the association president and the property manager, Chris, Chris Whelan, is with us this evening as well. Um, at the last meeting, there was some discussion whether or not it might be preferable instead of putting a rock lining on the bottom of the creek or swale. Um, we would like to suggest perhaps that uh, we could plant instead a wetlands mix on the bottom of that. Um, I think it would work just as well. And we would also offer that we would put on the plans um, a basic maintenance plan of that area which would consist of at least an annual mowing and raking so we don't have any buildup of the materials that gets mowed into that area. So that if the commission was amenable to a, a grassland mix, we've investigated a mix from part seed, which was, should be, you know, an excellent uh, application there, um, because it can thrive in, in the in the wet dry, you know, it's wet a fair amount of time. Some of the time it's dry, um, and we would like to simply propose that as an alternative. We would of course show that on the final file plans and also put the, the maintenance plan on there as well, and the association is amenable to that and to, you know, agree to maintain it in that manner so that, so that we don't have to build up. You know, part of the reason for the stone was so that when they clean it, they would know when they kind of hit the old elevations. But realistically, it took 20 years to kind of get the build up. And if they, in addition to mowing, we found also rake out what they mow, then all of a sudden there's really no build up to occur. And that may be, a, you know, a, a better alternative than really than having to dig down deeper into the stream bed in order to put in the stone. Other than that, I think we, hopefully, I think I've answered all the questions that the commission has, but certainly we would be glad to answer anything. And, and I believe, Jim, one of the board members said that they would prefer grass other than stone okay. because of the sunlight. And so he said, I'd rather see grass. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that idea. Um, what was the mix that you had? Um, it, well, we get written to hard seed and they've come back with it. It's a mixture of. Uh, Certain percent, 25 percent um, Kentucky fescue, 20 uh, percent perennial rye, 15 percent Virginia wild rye, 15 percent smooth broom grass, which is kind of what you see a lot of in the bottom of basins, 15 uh, percent red top, and 10 percent black wool switchgrass. You know, it, it's tricky in these applications because you need something that will germinate sometimes when it's quite wet and then of course survive when it dries out as well so hopefully that's a, a reasonable mix that will then basically blend into the lawn area so we'd have them plant this mix basically in the whole disturbed area when they when they do the grading anything else jim uh yeah i, I guess what I, what I envisioned is when you redo the template, you, you showed on your plans a template for the channel, and that template would ex would have the bottom of the of the channel and has a flat bottom, mm -hmm. a couple feet, three feet, so some areas. I think it's a little, little wider because it flares out. It flares out. I, I think it was around eight feet yeah. wide actually. In the and, then, right. and then you had four to one slopes that came up to the grass. Right. Um, what I'd like to to see is that that you make this mix extend from the bottom uh, at least. 15 feet up the slopes, up the banks, up the banks. Sure. Uh, at least no more than, than the, the edge of the banks. If the banks, um, they come up and then they flatten out to the yard, mm -hmm. um, that's where I like to see this mix brought sure. up to and so that, that delineated between lawn and channel. Um, 
I think that really was our intent. Okay. Basically, any area where we're disturbing it, we will use the well, mix. You, you may not disturb the entire length of the stream or every inch of the bank, but I'd like to have it planted every inch. Oh, of okay, the bank. right. So maybe you will be disturbing every bit. You have, maybe you have to scarify some of it to plant the seed, mm -hmm. but I'd like to see that seed okay. uh, to be continuous from the bottom to the top of the slope. And other than that, I, I'm, I'm satisfied with your, your plan. That, okay. Is that uh, four to one slope? Is that a normal? That's a, it's a fairly flat. You know, two to one's a, a steep slope. Uh, four to one is actually you can mow four to one. Yeah, it's okay. Just so I'm clear, you're okay with them putting seed or the mix of seed on the bottom Correct. opposed to the stone that you yes. asked for or yep. talked about, a larger stone. They started out with a small stone, we settled in a larger stone, but yep. you're okay now with that. Yeah. Okay, because I remember really asking you last time if you were good, so. Yeah, the, the stone is, is, is a, a nice uh, addition, but it is um, not necessary there because they don't have an erosion problem. This is not a, a fast-moving stream. Uh, the bottom is not subject to erosion. It's more subject to deposition because it's so flat. So um, a grass line bottom would be just fine. Like I stated last month, our agent is fine with it. I'm, I'm fine with it. I thought we were only um, having another meeting because some members wanted to look at the site and we were going to go with what we had last time, but obviously this is a change. Yeah, they, between yeah. The, we had some discussions. Okay, and, um, so there's some discussion uh, between meetings. Yep. Okay, I just want to be sure because we were all satisfied. <laughs> Most of us were satisfied at the last meeting with the stone. Um, the stone makeup of the bottom and it was very well explained that it'd be easy to clean you know when you hit the bottom so as long as again for the record if our agent is fine with it i'm fine with it thank you um, i think the only other thing we brought up at the meeting i didn't see addressed was no storage on site that was a you didn't want anything stored on site so would that be part of the conditions <coughs> any of the material that you removed during this this Reshaping will be off site, you know, correct. no on site. Okay. Correct. That, that that's even reflected on the plan notes, okay. I believe. Just one thing. Do we, have re we don't have revised plans, correct? No, no. no. Okay. What we thought we would do is submit it, we would take your approval conditions and. Okay. Now, have you, have, have you seen a copy of the draft approval conditions? No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Any questions, Donna? No, so thank you. Anything else, Robbie? No, I'm all I just have one more. No. We don't, they don't have to come back again, do they? If we decide to move forward, <laughs> I know they don't have they to. Don't, so so like, this could all be done administratively with Correct. the plan and um, the, the maintenance up. plan. Well, wouldn't we? I mean, there's a draft motion here that we all have. Okay. So, I mean, somebody would approve. We okay. make a motion to go forward yeah. with this. Um, but, so we have our 16 standard conditions. Yep. Um, and there's obviously space. Is there something that we need to put in here about the annual maintenance plan being on the, yeah. or is that something you just check when it comes and you get the final plan? We, we, could, um, <clears throat> we could add that to the special conditions um, that they, you know, this permit is um, also requiring their submittal of a um, annual maintenance uh, plan and schedule, um, as well as the, the planting uh, of a, was it erosion control or was it a, wetlands mix did they have a name for it or yeah oh, did they call it their common wetland seed mixture okay and they say all disturbed areas shall be planted with the uh, common wetland, wetland, wetland mix. seed mixture never knew there was such a thing oh that's <laughs> really why my grass doesn't grow good uh, there's all kind of <laughs> special plants out there wow the, the one thing i'd like to bring to the attention of the um, of the commission is that condition number 15, 15, uh, sorry, 16 requires a as-built to be submitted. Um, it's up to your discretion if you'd like to have that done or you'd like to have that removed from the condition. Uh, that's up to your... My personal opinion is I don't think this project requires an as-built, but I don't think uh, that's, you know, if anybody has any discussion as to why you think they need one. No. I mean, so that we could just remove that as, as, as from the motion. Okay, um, any other discussion, questions? Okay, so if we want to move forward with this, I'll need somebody to make a motion to approve their application 
with the 15 standard conditions, 1 through 15, and then read the, the last two that we just discussed tonight. I make the motion that um, we accept or approve this application with the 15 um, standard conditions and um, that um, we're supplied with uh, the seed, I guess it's called the common uh, wetland fill mixture, and um, you'll be submitting an um, annual maintenance plan uh, to the office of uh, the wetlands office. Um, just what, We'll have discussion on a motion. I'll, I guess I'll add that. Um, and that's it. Okay. And just motion made by Frank. Discussion. Second. Second by Groby. All in favor? Okay. Any discussion? Yeah, the discussion. Um, once it's complete, will you be receiving and letting us know that we yeah. can put this to bed? Yep. When okay. I, once I have the will call me out and I'll take a look at it and mm -hmm. report back to yeah. info. Okay. So if it's not satisfied, we'll be seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a good job. Well, very sure. <laughs> Sounds, like Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Does Thank this motion much. go to the secretary? Um, he's the secretary. It's, it's on file. He can have it. Thank, Thank you. 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 Don't say that to Thank long. you, gentlemen. I know. <laughs> Take care. Item number 14, new business. Nothing tonight, Jim? Nope, no new business. Okay. New applications to be received. We have nothing. Nope, none. Other business. Um, 16A, Heritage Farms Condo Maintenance Permit Extension. That's what I think was outstanding. We need to perhaps make a meeting in the um, end of January or February, maybe a special session where we can break out into a workshop and talk about that. Okay. So um, maybe we can throw around after the holidays, throw out an email and figure out a date that works for everybody. Could Sounds be good. In January? End of January, February. It's okay. pretty slow for us. So this is a project that's currently under construction? The, they came in front of us um, and they're looking for an ongoing permit um, so they don't run into the same problems they had last time. Right? We don't know year. if it's feasible. Right? Oh, so every so five years. Happen. Right. I was going to yeah. say it's an expiration in one year. Five years. Something to renew. Okay. Just renew. So we need to talk about it. Yeah, just, just a real quick recap of that. Their their concern was that they had gone through quite a bit of effort um, to get a permit to do the regular maintenance in their detention pond for their condominium. And what they wanted to do was find a way to keep that effort continuous so that after five, six years, when it needed to be get done again, they would have to come back in and go through the same efforts again, nor were other people who might be on the board then who aren't there now would have to redo it, may not do the same due diligence and may not be as, as good at getting through the boards and, and putting together the plans. So they're looking for a way to make it more um, <laughs> So is there a possibility to um, have them do this one more time and then have it inspected by that's, whoever succeeds you. Yeah, our permit doesn't expire for I think it's over a year, so yeah, I mean, you're in good shape. Yeah. Right. So it gives us some time to just so think about it. But you know, something a little customer friendly, I think. Is what yeah, right. But when you yes. open this up, now we open it up to every yeah. permit oh. that comes in front every, of us. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's just something, something I think something we should talk yeah. about. It's a workshop. It's a big change, and it's and it could have its merits, but it's not just something quick and easy. Is there um. Any research you can do from any other communities that have some something we can look at? Can maybe some, yeah. Yeah, start poking around some, and see yeah, how see people what, do it. Just to see, you know. Mm -hmm. Like sized towns, maybe. You know. I, I kind of want to say that I think we'd be pretty cutting edge if we yeah. do this. Oh, really? Okay. I think it'd be pretty yeah, proactive. Pretty out of the ordinary. Is yeah. it? Okay, wow. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Hmm. Okay, um, next item. Um, the official map map update discussion, which and uh, you know I I did work on it and I had something yeah, to did. print out. Um, I did not get a chance to print it in color. Um, it's okay, we're kind of lean tonight. <laughs> 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 a brand new year, you bring us color copies. But, and, and one of the things I wanted to bring up um, about the map is that when I when I looked at it last, I noticed there was some obvious areas that were 
on the old map that would not be on the new map. There was a lot of areas that um, that just would come off the map. Some of those areas were subdivisions that were 50s and 60s subdivisions. I, I think pretty safe to say we can, you know, take those off for, right. for, um, for or, or not. You know, we had a discussion, but there were some areas that were just out in the middle of nowhere that were not going to be on the new map, and I wanted to talk to to the commission about do we want when we have that in front of us maybe our next step would be to get someone a third party like um, the conservation district to maybe go out maybe we take that map and we put 10 X's on it and say we're gonna hire the commission of the uh, conservation commission oh, conservation commission, I'm sorry the um, conservation district uh, they would ask you mm -hmm. to go out and verify either those are or are not wetland areas right just to, to back up our I can't do it. Um, how, how much do you think is on there? That's, I, I don't think it's that much, but there are some. Okay. And so I guess I'm looking for your guidance. Do I start that conversation now? Should I see what that would cost for him? Is it per day? Is it per? Mm -hmm. I, guess my, cost. I guess my question would be, these um, parcels, are they accessible? That for future development, whether we put the money into something like that, if it's never going to bring us back any uh, revenue through uh, well, taxation we, I think we, we just want to protect ourselves from taking something that was identified as wetlands on one map and all of a sudden it's not and someone will say well how could it have been a wetland and now it's not and we need some kind of backup for that some kind of justification and that would come by having a soil scientist go out and say well we you know we sent somebody out there to verify it a third party who's qualified and certified right. and they said it was or was not a wetland but I, I guess again are these but somebody that was would do a development that, that really it would affect that person doing the development, they would have to hire their own soil scientist to determine if yeah. there was right? Right, but I guess if you're talking about a piece of land out in the middle of the woods that's landlocked and could never be developed, would we want to make that effort towards uh, investigating it if it could never be developed? I don't think it's a, a huge expense. Okay. Um, I didn't look at them in that detail, but I just know it's you know, just quickly looking at the two there was a green spot there wasn't one there right, right. So, yep. so maybe when we have the new maps we, we can have that discussion again yeah. okay. we just okay we just look at it with our own kind of eyes and say them. wow that's a big sense. difference yeah. that doesn't yeah. look like it's mm -hmm. something it would be nice if it becomes developable property yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. i think it's a good idea because the, <laughs> I, I got a piece myself there's two, two pieces of wet. it wasn't that wet before and now it's wet mm. and if for some reason it dried out and you said, well, that's not wet. Well, I can build is. over there. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, you know, you know, again, the, the so you get wet isn't always a sign of a wetland. It, it has to do with the soil types. Yeah. The only person who can, who can really identify those is a soil scientist. Right. Right. That's, I think right. it's a good idea to yeah. do that. Yeah. Let's look at the map and see what yeah. pops up. We've got some yeah. areas that we can... I, I know we've been... Yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. I want to bring a new map and everybody say, yeah, it looks great. Let's adopt it. And then we have... A lot of questions right. open up. Right. So I, I, I would rather it be accurate, right? right. Yeah. I mean, you're going through all this trouble. And again, if there's you know a possibility, as accurate, as accurate, as accurate, as accurate, as accurate as right. you have, you know, right. it's only a, uh, a compilation of, of existing data, data. Mm -hmm. right. and uh, we we can do a little spot checking, is what I'm saying, mm -hmm. a little right. you know mm -hmm. close close quarters spot checking on some areas just to see right. how. It is. Oh, we'll point our finger at you I, for sure. <laughs> well, that's I, have a, I have a question. Um, how old is the map that identifies that they're currently wet? 62. Oh, okay. It's got to be a look at that. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. that soil data was from 62. Oh, oh, 1962. Yeah. And what we're using now is... Yeah. yeah. Is, 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 All uh, the maps are pretty yeah. old. Yeah. 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 So that was prior to wetland agents. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's why wow. the, the needs... Yeah, the absolutely. Data. Just being, you know, a member of the community and part of the town all my life, I would love to see the differences if anything's changed. It'd be interesting right. to see well, the outcome is. Right. And then the other 60 question, years, that's a long time. time. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time. And now the other question comes up is that what was what was a wetland, and it could have been a, a, a real wetland in, in 1962, because wetlands uh, regulations didn't exist, they was built on. It was now a subdivision. It was now quarter acre lots. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to come up and decide is it is it no longer a wetland is it a disturbed wetland is it a non-functioning wetland 
you know, how do we handle those areas? Because that's, mm -hmm. that's the bulk of the change is, is where it used to be mapped wetland soils in 62 is now several streets that are full of houses. They've been there for 50 years. We can knock on the doors and see if they have water in their basements. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't mean <laughs> <as well. laughs> We're going to have to make some kind of a judgment call on yeah. whether we take those areas off. I think it's being um, very proactive in doing this and yeah. getting it done. And, yeah, you know, so maybe having something if you do want to start feeling yeah. and getting yeah. costs for Dave to, to do something like that, then we have yeah. all the information in front of us. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. invite him to a meeting and maybe yeah. give us some thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Any other discussion? Okay. Our next regular meeting is Wednesday, January 2nd, 2013, 7 o'clock in the council chambers. Mm -hmm. um, is there a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. Motion seconded by Ruby, seconded by Donna. All in favor? Aye. Right. Okay. We're adjourned. You are adjourned. You are good. That was good, eh? That was a good one. 26 minutes. Yeah. 20. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go pick up Roby. <laughs> He's home. He's coming up tonight. Oh, good. He's flying in. Yeah. Better make him some sausage before you leave. He made him some baklava. <laughs>